Hey there, plant gang. Saracenia species. Now there are some Saracenias, different ones that are native to the southeastern United States. Saracenia flava or flava, Saracenia rubra. Uh, so a couple different ones, but let's just know Saracenias when we see them. So let's say Saracenia species. And this is a group of carnivorous plants that are native to primarily the southeastern United States. Uh, and are uh, native to kind of those Piedmonte, Piedmonte bogs uh, in different areas like that that are wet, uh, but quite beautiful. Uh, we're looking at modern hybrids here uh, with different colored hoods, different colored flower, uh, flowers. In the right growing conditions in a bog or an area where you have set it up to grow Saracenia specifically, this is a wonderful plant. Uh, so. Uh, one thing that you need to know is that uh, the pitchers are actually uh, modified leaves. So these modified leaves form these distinctive upright slender fluted pitchers, uh, really a variable height. Uh, maybe they could be up to 12 inches to 18 inches tall depending on uh, the maturity of the plant. Again, we're just trying to know Saracenia just in general. Uh, and then we've got these very uniquely shaped flowers uh, that sit high above the plant. Hardy from zone six through eight. Uh, again, that pitcher could be one, one and a half foot tall. Uh, the, the actual plant itself could spread out to two foot wide. So if you were gonna grow this in the home landscape, really strict adherence to the cultural needs of this genus are really important. Uh, you have to prepare a artificial bog. Uh, you have to be uh, giving this plant the growing conditions that it needs. Now, one thing I wanna make sure that I say in this video is that these plants should never, ever be harvested from the wild. Uh, and one reason is, I mean, this, the, this plant has been under pressure from uh, harvesting in the wild. It's been susceptible to habitat loss because it takes such uh, specific growing conditions. Uh, here's another thing is that the ones that you find in the retail market uh, that have been bred for ornamental characteristics are more attractive. Uh, you actually uh, get a better plant uh, from a beauty standpoint. Uh, the hoods have different patterning and modeling on them. Uh, that, are, that are red and white and different, um, again, modeling on the hoods uh, that are quite beautiful. So never dig this from the wild. Make sure you're buying uh, known cultivars from reputable sources. Here's a landscape tip. Adhere to the growing requirements of the genus for best performance and never dig from wild locations.